But our top story tonight, let's be honest, there are parts of this country that are often falling off the map. Parts of the country located on the periphery that rarely make the prime time headlines in Delhi-centric channels. That's often the accusation and the criticism. On the news today, we've made every effort always to reach out to those parts of the country simply depending on the importance of the headline. And today, the biggest headline of the day is coming from one of the peripheral parts of the car, peripheral states of the country, Nagaland. Nagaland is on the edge. After six coal mine workers were killed in army firing, nine more people, including an army jawan, lost their lives in the protests and clashes that followed the firing. Today, an embarrassed Home Minister, Amit Shah, in his statement in Parliament, said that the armed forces fired on vehicles of coal miners after they didn't stop, but admitted that it was a case of mistaken identity. In Nagaland and across parts of the Northeast, the incident has raised a chorus for a repeal of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Naga groups are saying enough is enough. In a sensitive part of the country, this is a story that can have terrible repercussions. It's our top story tonight. Home to diverse tribes, colorful festivals and vibrant culture, Nagaland now is simmering. Innocent lives lost in an alleged case of mistaken identity by the army. Locals are angry, demanding justice. The firing tragedy at Mon district has left deep scars. We are seeing a unanimous call right now. The Meghalaya Chief Minister, uh, the Chief Minister of Nagaland, they are all unanimously saying they want to repeal off the AFSPA. They want AFSPA to be taken back. Banners at entry gates of Mon seeking justice narrates the anger. We are here at Mon district where that horrible incident took place. Civilian firing over a botched up operation. And you can see the situation over here. People are out on the streets, the locals, protesting. Hundreds, including CM Nefurio, gathered at the funeral of deceased civilians, laying wreaths on coffins and seeking removal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act. We are Hindustan, the biggest democratic country in the world. And this is a draconian law. So it should be removed from our country. An angry mob of around 500 had vandalized Assam Rifles Camp and the office of the Konyak Union on Sunday. As tensions flared up, army issued a statement regretting the incident. It also ordered an inquiry led by a major general rank officer. Now the army wants to make sure there are no cover-ups and that's the reason why a probe has been ordered, headed by a Major General Rank Officer, to look into the sequence of events. People of Nagaland are angry and upset. They took out candlelight march at Kisama village, which is the venue for famous Hornbill Festival. We want justice! We want justice! The deaths of civilians in firing by security forces jolted parliament proceedings on Monday. Home Minister Amit Shah issued statements in both houses amid opposition sloganeering. The opposition took the government to task over the botched up operation. AFSPA is a symbol of oppression, is an object of hate. It should be repealed. And may I know, sir, and may I know from the government, Will the government give permission to sanction those killers? The Nagaland government has announced an ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees each to the families. Section 144 has been imposed in the district and mobile internet has been suspended. Vitreya Chatterjee in Mon Nagaland and Abhishek Bhalla in Delhi. Bureau report, India Today. My first guest tonight, G.K. Pillay, former Home Secretary who's handled the sensitive parts of the Northeast when he was in the Government of India. Appreciate your joining us, Mr. Pillay. Your sense, 
Is this a nightmarish situation that in one of the most sensitive parts of the country where there was a semblance of peace returning, where it appeared that the peace process had made much progress, now you've got a situation where Naga groups are back on the street because of the manner in which civilians are, have been killed. Was this an entirely avoidable incident? Oh, definitely. I think it was an entirely avoidable uh, situation because Nagaland uh, overall has been peaceful since uh, the um, ceasefire took effect in 1997. And uh, um, this type of an ambush by the army on a civilian group, uh, which is uh, unarmed, mm -hmm. as we could make out from preliminary uh, reports mm -hmm. of the DGP was something which should have been completely avoided. Uh, but, but in your view, when you hear the kind of statements we heard today in Parliament, we are hearing from Nagaland, repeal the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Are, is that an exaggerated response to what has happened? Or do you believe this must spark off a much needed debate on the role and powers that the army has in areas like Nagaland? See, we look at the Armed Forces Special Powers Act from two, uh, two perspectives. Mm -hmm. One, when you really need to call in the army to uh, handle a situation, then I think the army needs protection because the army is not uh, meant for what we call as uh, taking action against one's own citizens within one's own country. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you need something like the AFSPA. But in, in the case of Nagaland, the situation being what it was, in the last uh, decade or so, where it's been by and large peaceful, if you look at the casualty rate uh, compared to any other state in India, uh, the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, at least insofar as the state of Nagaland is concerned, it should be uh, withdrawn. And I think the State Assembly has uh, uh, passed resolutions to that uh, mm -hmm. effect many, many a time. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it is time that the Armed Forces Special Act, you don't need the army uh, to act with the uh, in aid of the civilian power in Nagaland today. You know, ju just for our viewers to tell them that the Armed Forces Special Powers Act as it exists today empowers security forces to shoot at sight or arrest people without a warrant in areas declared disturbed. The law shields the security forces from prosecution unless the union government gives sanction. I just want to understand today, do you believe in this particular instance, the government of India must ensure that armed forces responsible for this are prosecuted? Is that very clear? It can uh, or can the armed forces claim that, look, this was a case of mistaken identity as Mr. Amit Shah today claimed in parliament? See, I think the court of inquiry has been set up. Uh, we need to uh, wait for the results of the court of inquiry to come. Mm -hmm. uh, I presume definitely that uh, already having stated by the Home Minister that it was a case of mistaken identity mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that you fired on unarmed civilians, some people in the uh, army units which carried out this operation would be held responsible and action taken. We need to make sure that that happens. Unfortunately, the uh, the record in the past has mm -hmm. not been so good. And that is why you have even a case like the Manorama incident, which took place in Manipur in 2004. Mm -hmm. In spite of uh, all the agitation, the judicial inquiry, etc., uh, nobody has been punished till date. Let me ask you, therefore, once again, you're making a very important news point. You believe in the case of Nagaland, AFSPA should have been repealed. However, what you're saying is one would hold judgment on the accountability of the armed forces till the court of inquiry is complete. But the fact is there are people out on the street at the moment in Nagaland and there is anger that is simmering. How does one address that anger in the immediate term? I have a very special relationship with the people of Mon District, uh, especially when I visited uh, those areas in uh, when I was Joint Secretary in Northeast. And I would appeal, make an earnest appeal to the people there to, to uh, maintain peace, don't take law and order into your hands, let the Court of Inquiry and the Special Investigation by uh, let it continue. And if you don't get uh, what I would call as 
a, a judgment or a report which is in one sense credible, mm -hmm. then I think you should at that time only need to come out onto the streets. And at this time, I think you should allow the normal process of law and order to, to continue and okay. let the inquiry uh, take its course. And I hope that the inquiry is completed at the earliest. Let me leave it there, uh, 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 Mr. Pillay. I appreciate your joining us. You come very rarely now on television, but you come and spoken out and have called for both a return to peace, but importantly, you believe in the context of Nagaland, the Armed Forces Special Powers Act should be repealed. Thanks very much for joining me there at this moment.